All right, so we got to see Star Wars Eclipse at the Game Awards, and it looked really, really good. I really loved it. Um, I know it's only a cinematic trailer, but it was a really good one. But it wouldn't be Star Wars if we didn't get like a small a leak or anything about maybe the possible release date, some development stuff, and a little bit more. So soon after the release uh, trailer dropped, I was looking on the Bastion Bulletin, I think it was the next day, um, and saw an article about the game with some details, and uh, I wanted to wait a couple of days to see if anything more would leak, but this is all we get for now. So um, I guess we have to make do with this right here. Uh, it's not the kind of news that you really want to hear, though. First of all, in the article, it said that at the earliest we can expect the game is 2024. Um, so that's about three, three years away, even later. And from another source, it was heard that the game was three to four years away. So that sounds like a long time, which it is. I know it is, but um, we also got to think about what we get in between. Thank God for that. We get uh, probably, well... We'll most definitely get Jedi Fallen Order 2 in between, um, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic remake, and we still don't know anything about the Ubisoft massive open world Star Wars game that they're working on. Um, it might be that they're just like waiting until they're further along in the development before they show us anything and uh, it might be even closer to a release date when they show anything. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see what, we are, uh, what we're getting with this. Further along in the article, it is said that uh, Eclipse is being written by Quantic Dream Paris, uh, which is at the moment struggling to get people for the project. Um, and I don't know a lot about what is going on with Quantic Dream and all the negative stuff. Um, in the article, it said that... Um, uh, it's about David Cage, who is uh, very heavily involved with this project, has a history of making sexist remarks and homophobic comments, which is not a good thing. Um, and from from that from that side, I can totally understand that people are hesitant to start working uh, at Quantic Dream uh, to like work at the studio and stuff. But it, that's so insane because it, if that was not going on, people would jump on an opportunity to work on anything Star Wars related, I guess. It's such a, such a big franchise, uh, such a known name for a lot of people. That's something you want to add to your resume. At least that's what I would want to do. So yeah, it's kind of, um, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of shitty, to be honest. I, um, I do hope like things will get solved and uh, game development doesn't have to suffer that much underneath this, but yeah, you never know. Let's just hope. Let's hope. Also in the article, it's being said that the game is being developed on the QD engine, which is, um, from what I've heard, not made for open world uh, gameplay. So um, I do think Eclipse will focus on open world, how open that will be. I just don't know. That's the big question for now. And it's also said that the game could feature multiplayer elements and would not follow previous Quantic Dream games by being um, quick time event heavy, which I'm really happy about. I don't really mind quick time events, but uh, to have a game be like quick time event heavy, I just don't don't feel like I want to play a game like that. Um, what to expect for multiplayer? I just like if it's even in there. I don't know. It's all speculation, and I like I I have ideas how I would like to see multiplayer being implemented into this game. Um, but I, I guess it's all speculation right now. Don't really want to speculate on it until we have more news up for it. So, yeah, that's kind of the, the, the rumors floating around uh, about Star Wars Eclipse right now. Um, let's hope things will get solved and the production will run as smooth as can be. And just like we have to wait for new stuff right now. So, yeah, that's it. That's all for this video. It's a short video for this one. Uh, if you like it, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. Would be awesome if you subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day and bye-bye.